Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're talking about when the harmonica feels like it's broken, when the notes won't play properly or you're having trouble with it. The good news is that we can almost always solve this problem very quickly with a simple fix. So the first thing I want to talk about is when a note just doesn't play properly or doesn't play at all. So this is usually the case on the two draw, but it can happen on other holes and the same thing applies. So you might find instead of that you're getting that sort of thing. Now this is almost always an issue with the technique rather than with the instrument itself. So the two draw is very sensitive and if your mouth shape isn't right then you're going to have problems. So if you're quite far off the harmonica and then you're having to suck the air quite hard to get the note it's not going to sound good. So you've got to get further on. That naturally drops your jaw and it means you can relax the air, just breathe in naturally and the note will improve itself. It's all to do with that pressure and tension. You can also compare that note with the three blow because they should be the same note. And when they sound the same, you know you're getting it right. This can also be the case with any hole on the instrument, but that two draw is the most common place for it to happen. You might also find that you're bending notes by accident. So let's say we're playing the four draw. You might be hearing. So what you need to do in that scenario is relax your tongue as much as possible. Everything from the two draw applies, but as well, we need to make sure we're not humping the tongue up or moving it around anywhere, just relaxing it, also not pushing it down, just sitting in your mouth. The tongue is a tool to help you bend notes, so in order to stop you bending notes, you have to make sure that you are fully relaxed with your tongue to get the normal unbent note to play. Sometimes with the higher notes, you'll find you get horrible squealing sounds or no sound at all. Again, the temptation is to pull harder when the note doesn't work, but the first thing to do is relax. Think of the air just coming in and going out just through an airway. There's no force involved and you'll actually find that by relaxing, the note comes through better, you'll hear it and actually the instrument will play itself. You're not having to force it. Okay, so that's what to do if the problem is to do with your technique. But what if you've tried all of those steps and you're still having a problem with the note? Well, the next thing to consider is that you might have too much moisture in the instrument. So this happens just naturally through playing, you know, you're sticking something to your mouth, you're going to get spit in there. If you're drinking water, which you should be when you're playing to keep uh, a moist mouth, then you might get some of that moisture stuck in the instrument. Usually it's as simple as tapping both sides and you'll see a horrible, you won't see it now because mine's nice and dry, but you'll see some horrible spit on your hand. Um, but it can help if, if you still can't get it uh, out to take the cover plates off and maybe just give the reed plate a wipe and leave it to dry. If that doesn't solve the problem, then there might be a bit of dust or a food particle, as disgusting as that is, stuck between the reed and the reed plate. So often you could just use a toothpick or a cocktail stick just to very gently poke inside the hole and free up the reed. If it still won't play, take these cover plates off, usually you just need a flathead screwdriver, take these off and then you can see the reeds themselves on the reed plates 
and you probably find there's just a tiny little bit of something in there which you can again very gently scrape off but I would say be really careful if you're going to take this harmonica apart because it's a very simple basic instrument but it's very fiddly uh, small and there are small parts and the reeds are delicate so you have to be very careful with them so don't do that if you don't feel confident. A couple more things that can be a problem with the instrument are the reed being gapped too small or the reed actually being out of tune. Now I'm going to consider these two together because at this point you're getting into the realm of tinkering with the instrument rather than just cleaning it and you do have to be careful and make sure you know what you're doing. But sometimes if the reed won't play or if you have to be really, really, really gentle to get it to play, then the gap between the reed and the reed plate itself is so small that it's causing this problem and it, it, it's not very responsive. So you can open up that gap. This is really, really simple. Essentially, you just need to push from underneath the reed to get it further away from the reed plate. If you go too far, then that's gonna be a problem the other way, so it's a fine balance. And then the other thing is when a reed is out of tune. So if it's sounding like a bent note, but whatever you do, however clean you get it, it's not working, it might be that the reed has just gone out of tune. Sadly, this happens, especially if you're playing songs where you're using bends or you're playing loudly, then the reed will go out of tune in the end and it won't want to go back in tune. So your options are to retune the reed, which can involve scraping off some uh, brass from the reed itself. Check out videos on that. I don't want to talk in detail about that here. Or you could replace the reed itself. You can buy um, single reeds and do that, but that involves knocking the old one out, putting the new one in, and you can need some tools. Or replace the reed plate itself, or just buy a new harmonica. So you've got several options at that point, but sadly that does happen. It's just the nature of the instrument. And then finally, I will say that on the very rare occasion that you receive a new harmonica and whatever you do, there is a problem with a note, most suppliers will replace them. But I would go through all of the steps in this video first because it's quite common for beginners to believe there's something wrong with the instrument when it is to do with their technique. So I hope this has helped you to work out maybe what the problem with your harmonica is. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. And if you'd like to take a free trial of my harmonica school, where you can get step-by-step -step lessons, feedback from me on your playing, and all sorts of stuff which is exclusive to the school and not available on YouTube, then click the link in the description to find out more. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for free harmonica lessons every single week. And I'll see you soon for another harmonica lesson. Cheers.